uh, hi everyone and welcome back so let's get started with the weekend so my first video i will be talking about what a beginner what an intermediate developer can get from my youtube channel you see a different set of playlists and sometimes you will get confused okay what they should learn and what they should go for okay so i will just uh, divide this into the three categories what a beginner developer can learn from my youtube channel and what an experienced developer can learn and what an intermediate developer can learn okay so most of my content is not for purely beginner developers where they are starting learning how to write code how to understand html how to write the front end applications it's just more on some developer has has already worked on one or two year in some company he already knows some framework he already know how to write the front end code or the back end code then he can learn different framework different type of programming different type of architecture from this channel okay so i will go from the bottom uh, because there is where we have the lot of content because these are the the previous playlists okay let me scroll down so you can start with the html what is npm as a node package manager okay so here is uh, let me start with html i might have somewhere oh let's call it as a web development yes so web development roadmap and you can start with the purely web development which will teach you html and basic javascript stuff and then just after this you should jump to learning javascript and that is so this is a web development here and then you can simply jump to a javascript that is a 101 set of videos that is talking about full javascript course okay this javascript course will teach you each and everything about javascript but before that i would suggest you that you should go with a very beginner set of javascript questions okay like very beginner javascript learning which tells you how to write javascript code then you can jump in here and can learn 40 to 50 videos which are easy for you to understand once you are done here now you know the html now you know the javascript okay now you should start learning about uh, how to write says how to write styles and all these things so for writing the styles and writing the actual design development i think you can explore somewhere else because i am not focused too much on the designing part on this youtube channel but maybe in future i will put some playlist after that you can start learning the react because now you know javascript now you know html now we can explore react and here we are react full codes 151 set of videos we don't need to look for any other channel or any other playlist this gives you everything it can and it has the demo application everything inside it and then once you are done with the react js use you are confident okay you can write front end code with react using redux hooks context apis and all then you can look for this node.js master playlist which covers everything okay i mean starting from the express to connecting my uh, connecting node.js with the mysql postgres different framework koa happy and nsjs and then writing the apis for your front end then this is a 141 videos it covers everything and then comes to the front end framework okay because we talked about react then there is a latest playlist on the Vue.js because Vue.js is also popular. It's not like people are not using it. There is a Angular, there is a Vue.js. Angular is also that popular and uh, it is gaining a lot of popularity same as React. But yeah, React is like a slow, uh, fast learning curve. People tend to learn React first. Okay. So you can learn Vue.js and in past I created a lot of content for you say you can say Angular and i think there is a need now to create a single master playlist about angular 10 or angular 12 we have but if you just want to get a start on angular then i created a lot of webinar in past like two years back those are still valid for the beginners you can start with this but if you want to know the latest concepts of angular 10 on 12 then i think there is a need of a playlist 
and there are here and there you will see a lot of playlists which are talking about small small framework like happy js i have covered here for the node js some react js workshop on the react redux right and then some node js debugging deployment security scalability all these things are covered here and there are a lot of node.js courses on this here is for absolute beginner here for the intermediate and angular 2 dota i will say this is not valid now because it's like four years back i created angular 2 course and then we can learn webpack es6 these are small small playlists which talks about a particular segment like okay you want to prepare for node.js interview you want to prepare for the react.js interview full stack interview here because I'm covering the, the, the in-depth courses about uh, what can be the, the questions on the interview. Similarly, uh, now coming to the, the full stack applications, right? So here, we, I started the Swiggy clone full stack application, Hack.io full stack application. This is the second playlist. And I will be writing one more full stack application, which is talking about how to write a full stack application using Angular, right? And then if you talk about the architecture and the AWS deployment stuff, then for architecture building the Node.js microservices, this is the master playlist, which talks about what all different type of architecture we have. All these things are covered here. And then on the AWS side, I just covered the AWS uh, API gateway and serverless. And then I covered a serverless framework, like how to use serverless framework for deploying your lambda and all, all, the, all these things writing clean code if you want to just go around it and if you are going for the interview just go through this playlist and apart from that yeah a lot of playlist on the interviews cracking jobs like what all coding questions uh, interviewer can ask uh, what is asynchronous programming in javascript and then importantly the, the latest playlist i have covered is a nest js and the graphql nest js is okay you want to learn the, the Next.js, which is uh, becoming a popular framework in the Node.js, go with this. And then Node.js with the type ORM, SQLize, different database, then you need to understand the, the ORMs, how Node.js works with the different ORMs. So like SQLize is there, uh, type ORM is there, Next.js is there, and then Next.js with these all different uh, ORMs. And then I think I also covered a SQLize, which is my popular playlist like node.js with the mysql using sqlize as a orm okay then you can learn graphql which is also evolving technology with the rest okay and recently i also covered uh, graphql uh, here you go let me just see yes this one this also talks about the all different approach because graphql is being provided by apollo uh, from different vendors right how you can write a whole microservice or whole service by consuming graphql right you expose an api using graphql graphql can talk to your different different uh, rest endpoints right i mean building the whole architecture based on the the graphql okay and now recently i started two playlists so this swiggy clone will go on i will not say that you keep watching these one two three videos whenever i'm getting time I'm publishing at least five to ten videos in the Swiggy clone and this Hackio clone. And I started one more playlist which is about the Nest JS Advance. So if you are already familiar with the Nest JS, now advanced things will talk only about when you know what Nest JS is, the beginner part. Then you should go with advanced because here I'm not teaching about the basic things. I will be teaching about the Nest JS integration with the important set of libraries and the frameworks. Okay. So this is pretty much, I will be publishing more playlist, but like uh, my playlists are sometimes scattered, but once they are complete, they are full proof. You start from the zeroth video to the nth video that gives you everything. Okay, so this is about just uh, based on the demand from the, the viewers that I should create a video to give them uh, uh, an overview, what should they look for, what they can learn from these playlists. Okay, uh, thanks everyone.